What's up everyone? Welcome back to Submachine. I'm Obix and today we are starting on the fourth chapter. On the previous episode I finished three of the games which are the earlier more simple ones and today is a blue day, is a blue me and as I said I'm gonna be switching between these two colors. I think it's gonna be a fun addition and it will make the video squeezy with the aesthetic of the channel. And yeah, let's just get into it. There's no need to delay. I'm actually pretty excited about this one because it's in the fourth one that the game start getting more interesting. I did in get intrigued on the last one about this break the loop thing. I feel like there's something about that last puzzle, but I don't have the brains for it right now. So I'll check it later. Let's just get into it. The hammer still exists. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Okay. Nephthalene. I was processing how to spell that word. Okay. There's a machine of those here, okay. I don't remember how you call those. Micro stabilizer again. This is interesting. I I don't think I made this connection before, or at least I didn't remember, but this lab has devices that you find on the second game. So it feels like whoever lived here created the lighthouse or lived in the lighthouse. Which makes... creates some cohesion between the games. It's a nice touch. Eric. Okay. And lab key, okay. Gas handle. Okay. What else is up here? Ah, I need to unscrew that. Yeah. Yes, I'm at the lab, Murtag. Yep. Okay, first of all, I should I should be reading the text. I apologize for that, but okay. First of all, you'll need to get to the, the, the transporter room. It's protected by a steel grating. It's highly unlikely you'll find any key codes for it at the lab at any. Point in time. At this point in time. Okay. Once you're at the transporter, you'll need coordinates to go to. I have a list of locations here. Printing that for you right now. Get to the transporter. Start jumping. Maybe you'll be able to find your way through. Good luck. Yeah. So now we get introduced to one of the main mechanics of this game. Being able to use transporters to jump to new locations. This is when it becomes interesting. Oh, and I don't think this said... I, I'm not sure if it said the name of the places before. I think it was just a list of coordinates in the beginning. Maybe I'm confusing with some other note. Four teams are exploring unknown locations. Okay. Thank you. 
Lighter, okay. At first we thought there was just one submachine. Then Murtag came along and showed us the truth. His ability to create karma portals between locations let him explore more than a third of the net. That took him 32 years. How foolish were we in those early years? It took him 32 years to explore a third of them. Using Murtag's technology we were, we were able to build our own transporters to move between dimensions. We have set up the laboratory. We have Reconnaissance uh, exploration teams. I don't know how to say that word properly, but we have set up the laboratory. We have reconnaissance, reconnaissance exploration teams for submachines. We go on missions into the net trying to discover new places and structures of this greater puzzle. Murtag said once there is no greater puzzle, no master plan, no one is controlling this thing. Uh, Murtex said once that there is no greater puzzle, no master plan, no one controlling this thing. But we think otherwise. There must be a purpose for all things. We just have to find it. I thought all of this was possible, but since Murtex deserted us, I'm not so sure anymore. But we found our purpose. We see it clearly. Do you? I don't know, you tell me. I have a soap. How is this ordering the items? It's ordering in such a strange way. I would expect it to just show up at the bottom of the list in the order that I picked them up. But that's not the case. I don't know if it's a preset order, but I don't see the logic behind it. If machine fluid supply runs out, here's a recipe for a makeshift fluid. Get these ingredients and boil them in water. Ordinary bathroom soap, vial of iron trioxide and some, some mothballs. Funnel this into the machine and it should work fine. Would you please inform the maintenance crew there's a fluid shortage? Thanks, bunny. So I'm gonna need this. Status. Fluid level is too low. I still need a um, who's, right? 
I don't think there is anything up there anymore. Can I unscrew the bulbs? I haven't found the who's. I know I need one. I'm already stuck and I've barely started the game. Fuck. Fucking hell, dude. It was right in front of me all this time and I didn't see it. I knew I had to pick up a who's somewhere. God damn it. I was just going back and forth because of this fucker. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the order matters. Our mission has just started. Murtag taught us the necessity of writing notes and leaving them behind in locations that were that they were made in. That's for leaving a trace in case somebody gets lost. But we are all well trained. Nothing bad is going to happen. Not this time. This is just in case. We're moving from here to the ship section. Our mission is to get the, to the upper deck of that ship. Over and out. Interesting. And what's the deal with the bell? I guess I gotta ding all of them. Ding! Okay, so let me see the locations. This is the laboratory. Oh! Oh, there's a difference here! Oh, the UI is so different on the transporter. Interesting. Ancient section, 104. Okay. The teleport animation also changed, which is interesting. It used to feel like a zap, now it's smoother. I actually like the older the older one as well. It's not that big of a ch I think it's more the sound that changed, not the animation itself. Okay. Got to remember those symbols. This one. Is it the other way around? Yep, okay. Got one. Statue is still here. Awesome. These things, though. Doesn't this feel like I'm being watched? Even in this place, which is all messed up and it has structures with different architectures and all that. There's one of these things. It really makes it feel like this whole place is 
deserted and doesn't follow the logics of physics, but at the same time there's something watching you. At least that's the feeling it's giving me. I don't know if it is supposed to feel like everything is made by one person or like everything is more cohesive or something, but for me it feels like I'm being watched. Like it's not actually abandoned, all of this was created. And someone or something is aware that all of this exists, in a way. Micro stabilizer. Right. Oh, that sound is is great. That is a great sound. I'm really liking the upgrade on the sound design as well, because I know it got some tweaks. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, this rotated as well. So what happened now? What did I do? Oh. Can I turn you around? We haven't even started exploring this ancient section and our coil is already dead. Someone probably forgot to recharge it, but the situation is serious. We don't know the numbers of, for the basement section. The coordinates are back at headquarters and clearly we can't go back there anymore. We'll try blind jumps as soon as we get a connection, but where we will end up, I simply don't know. Well, sucks my dude. I'm, I'm always thinking that I gotta... Hit the right button. Okay, so I gotta find a coil or recharge this one to put it here. Okay. Looping trap 690. Oh, why would I go back there? I'm still going though. This is one zero, so it's increasing to the left. I've been here before. I remember these damn looping rooms. If only I could remember what that was all about. Some machine unlocking further connections, a compass showing me coordinates. Yes, it was all about the coordinates. But there was there is no compass in here now. What to do? It's the same note in the other game. Interesting. So I got one. Ah, I see. So zero minus one, one minus one. Okay, but this is much simpler. These, these are looping rooms, but it's just a 3x3 three three grid. Nothing more. That's nice. So it's an actually very simple area to explore. Then we'll go to the basement section. Oh, does this mean we're going back to the basement of the first game? And the lighthouse digouts is related to the second game? Are we already backtracking? I thought the backtracking would only start on the 5th chapter. At least, I think so. 
from what I recall, I think on the fifth game you backtrack a lot to others, other areas of games you already explored. Not the exact same, but with the same aesthetic and technically like adjacent to it. But now we're going to the basement section already. Let's see. Five, two, nine. I really like the UI. Oh, actually, I just remembered something. Um, on the previous episode, I turned the flickering lights off just because they flicker a lot on the menu. But then I remembered maybe this also impacts the game. It's not just the menu. So I'm probably missing on something. Okay, the lights just flicker like this. I see. I'll keep it on for now. But I'm not a big fan. I might turn it off soon. <clears throat> yeah, this is a basement, but just a different area. So on the first game, I found a symbol of this with a circle on the fifth spot. Then on the second game, on the fourth. And now on the fourth game, on the third. <clears throat> so five, four, three. It's decreasing. That's secret. Our coil is broken and we don't have a replacement. It's useless. It's so useless. All that struggle with those damn machines. Is there even some kind of normal world outside this endless mess? Over and over again, no beginning nor end. What was his name? That man with one arm? I forgot even that. I just give up. I don't care anymore. Damn, these people are getting mad because they are stuck here for so long. Oh, and I remember this level. I'm gonna turn on a laser and then use the CD, right? The disc. No clues. Am I gonna find a place like this and I'll have to break the wall? Or is this just a random drawing? I'll keep this in mind. But I'm interested in what it might be. Murtake by today. He said that since we cannot charge a laser to break the orb, he's returning it to its original position. Just great. Besides that, we got a message from the ancient section exploration team two days ago. I can't tell why, but they started blind jumping and found new matching coordinates. 551. Some kind of break room or something. Like if it mattered at all. We don't see them we don't see them again anyway. We won't see them again anyway. Hmm. Okay. And it's actually interesting that there's already holes here. Five. No, let me go for the normal ones first. And then I'll check the new one. Lighthouse digouts, 462. Check. Yeah, so supposedly on the previous location we were in the basement but some other area. And now we are in another area of the lighthouse. Of the second game. Which is interesting. I like that touch. Yeah. So I gotta r ring four bells to open this. Have you noticed that you've never found any signs of human presence in the submachines? No matter which ones. But there are at least four teams wandering around the vast net of submachine. And there are probably other people too. What are the odds of never finding anyone here? But on the other hand, what are the odds of finding alien life forms in the universe? Yeah, because submachine is just basically an endless uh, net. It's like a universe on itself. It constantly creates alternative uh, parallel universes or dimensions. So you could be in the exact same place aesthetic-wise and architecture-wise, but it's a different dimension, so you never cross paths with anyone else. 
I see, so the flickering lights actually gave some dimension to this. Okay. It's actually not bothering me that much. Okay, and these digouts are very simple. There's nothing for me here. What else? Doom trap. No clues. No clues. Wait. What was I doing here? Circle, square, triangle. Zero, four, three. Yeah, of course. So it's some extra coordinates. I wish I could take notes. Like, there were some games that had like a notebook and you could write shit down. I thought Matt was gonna add it to all games. Apparently not. So you got 551 and 043. Okay. Then the last one is 800, the ship. Oh shit. This is dark. Awesome. I like that touch. I'm always pressing the right button by accident, dude. I keep messing up the, the action that it does. Crew expendable. Where did I hear that? Did that come from the company or someone even higher? Never mind. In the meantime, we tried almost every possible way of unlocking that damn ladder. This lock just won't open. The last attempt is to blow this up. We're setting up wires right now, and if we're lucky, some of us will survive and finally see what's on the upper deck of this ship. However, I'm going to write another note just after the explosion if we still if we'll still be alive that is oh shit and there's blood here and there's smoke i guess they didn't make it oh i thought i had to go for each one separately damn only they had a screwdriver and a knife. Oh, okay, I see. I have to turn the water off on the other, on the lighthouse digouts. Take off the fan and put it here. I guess that's how it's gonna work. And then I'll be able to open this. That's the logic I'm seeing. Okay, so... 551 it is. This is the lighthouse digouts as well. Okay, it's the other side. I see. I'm stuck, please help. I got all the way to the portable room in the lab, then found the coil in the ancient section, but I don't know what to do next. I saw that people are leaving notes here behind them, so if anyone can help me. I'm so confused. Every time I find some item, I have to wander around some machines looking for where to put it. I'm so tired right now, please help. Sunshine Bunny Girl 17. I thought. I actually thought this inside joke was gonna be removed. I don't know why this specific name. I don't know if this is like some um, user on Discord or something. Like someone that participated in something on of the game. Or if it's just a name that the creator made up. But at this point it basically is uh, an inside joke. I thought it was gonna be removed really. Okay, so this location is just this. And then zero... Four, three. I remember this scene in the trailer. The effect of the the drop almost hitting this and then the trailer cuts is awesome. Need water. Must find water. Not much. One drop would be enough. Just one drop of water. All I see is sand. 32 chambers filled with sand. Write down the coordinates, he said. Wish I had done that. I need water. Just drop. 
I still got the flask. Or no, no. There's a secret. I wonder how many I already missed. I have the feeling that I missed a couple. So where do I want to go now? Right. This is just a micro stabilizer. Thought it was gonna be something else. Well, now to the ship. Let's zero. Let's make this bad boy work. I need a key. I didn't expect that. In the lab, I don't think there's anything else for me. In the ancient section... I gotta charge the coil. In the looping traps, there's nothing else. It's just the disc that I got, the blue one. Basement section. Um, I gotta unlock the laser. I still don't have anything to do with it. Lighthouse digouts, there's nothing else. Tomb trap. It's just an area with a coordinate. And the ship is still on standby. I guess I'll go back to the laboratory just because I have no idea what to do next. Can I use you again? I need a drop of water. Why can't I use the fucking cup again. I can use this flask, okay. There we go. Awesome. Oh, is this it? Come on! Why doesn't it work? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I actually got, like, I got here again and I was like, this is a bit too simple. Such a simple puzzle, such a simple area. Maybe there's something else. Yeah, of course there is. This, I, I don't associate the coil with this because it feels like it fits something bigger here. I didn't make the connection. Okay, so this is what I was missing. Now I got the coil. Well, I just realized that I muted the mic by accident. I apologize for that. I keep forgetting that the mic has a button on top of it that mutes. And sometimes when I touch it, I mute the audio by accident. But I didn't do much. I don't know how much I managed to record um, without the audio. But basically, I... Got the coil, I went to the ancient section. It allowed me to turn this light on, see through this telescope, and it showed me these coordinates. And when I go there, there's just a statue with a secret, with a micro stabilizer. So not much happened. So I gotta put the coil somewhere else. Where though? Maybe the basement section? Which is 529? Yeah. Because it has those machines that I gotta turn on. Holy shit. Yeah, there we go. And now it's discharged, so I gotta charge it again. So this is a puzzle, like, I just had to put the coil here and the puzzle was right in front of me and I didn't realize, okay. The other thing was really just a secret. That's the logic of it. Okay. So now we got the laser. And we can have this fun detail with the CD, with the disc. This had a key inside it. 
chest key. I see. I see, I see. So now we're going back to the ship. And there we have... Okay. So that extra area is not in vain. I do gotta put the arm on the statue and the golden scepter as well. Alright. There you go, buddy. Oh, shit! Dude, what? That was beautiful. Yo, Matt, what the hell? That is such a great animation to transition between the games. What the fuck, dude? I'll have to look back into this recording. That was amazing. I did not... Like, when I saw the statue light up, I thought it would just open a portal and you'd have to press it and be teleported here. I didn't expect to be teleported through some light beam. Damn, that was awesome. Alright, so I believe this is gonna be it for this episode. On the previous one we finished three games because they are way quicker. And on this episode, since I don't have that much time, it will be just this one. But yeah, th things are starting to get interesting and I'm loving the additions. All the tweaks, the improvements on the audio, on the graphics, the little new additions in puzzles or other things. The animations between games are so fun. Alright, this is a little extra, but a little extra segment. I was just about to quit the game, but I felt like jumping back into this final loop just to see if I can solve it. Um, I want to see... Shit. I want to see if there is any logic. So I want to find an image with all the alphabet and associate each letter to a number and see if I can find the logic behind this. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't get it. I was expecting it to be cy cycling between 0 to 6. So like, if G is 6, it would be like B1, C2, D3, E4, F5, G6. And then H would be 0 again. That's not the case. And the fact that the numbers change every time you get in. That's also messed up. And I feel like this should be a clue. This here. This wall. But I don't get it. It's not like it is color-coded. It's not like the letters represent directions either. I'm so confused. 563066, is that it? Do I have to put the letters in order? So, 5, 6, 3, 0, 6, 6. I was so hopeful, dude. So hopeful. Wait, so... R, Y, W, vertically. And V, P, G, horizontally. What if it's the other way around? Six, six. Okay. I just gotta put them in this order. Okay. So I guess this means the upper one is this and the right one is. Okay. So here I have to insert RYW. On the other side I have to insert BPG. I got it. I actually got it by myself, dude. This seemed so much harder. What happens now? What happens now? Oh. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's a two here. Oh, I should take screenshots of this shit. Um, this is very interesting. This is just luck. This one is just luck. I just have to randomly find the right things, I guess. Some 
buttons are closed, some are open. I guess I just gotta find the right ones and press them. Oh, he took me back. Motherfucker. Why though? I didn't get any achievement also. I was hoping for it. I really thought I would get an achievement of you broke the loop. You got there. But nope. Don't open the door in 00, zero. instead look for a green leaf and bring it to the stabilizer in minus 12 9. Like this has all these red spheres. I don't know if these are lights that are supposed to turn green or if this is a place to insert to insert stabilizers, but it, there are no secrets in this game. In the loop. I'm very happy that I solved the puzzle. But I don't know what to do about this. The fact that I didn't get an achievement is throwing me off. Because I really thought it, you'd just solve it and that's it. But now I'm back to another area. Or I'm in, inside another area. That I have no idea what I have to do. If I press this fucker, I'll go back. Every time. Wait, this actually said the right order from the beginning. Zero six six. I think the puzzle was not that hard and I was just being stupid. I didn't realize I just had to insert it. I guess this this puzzle will be in phases, okay? Um I already broke the loop. And now I gotta figure out what I gotta do about this. Because the fact that I get inside each room by chance. By chance I find this thing. And I have no idea what to do about it. I guess it's just because of this code maybe. Maybe I just need this. But it really seems like I could insert something here or whatever. Why would the portal send me back though? What's the point? Well, I really don't know what to do about this. Um, I'm happy that I solved the puzzle, which now I realize was simple as fuck and I'm just a dumb fucker. I was overcomplicating it, I thought there was some weird logic and I actually just had to grab each number and insert it on each place. There was no changing placements of the numbers, I think. Nothing. Every th it was so straightforward and I was just really dumb. But yeah, I didn't get any achievement, it brought me to a new puzzle that I have no idea how I solve it. It's quite tricky, but we'll get there. Eventually I'll go back and think about it. I do think that that extra puzzle has just to do with that number or whatever that thing is that you hover over and it shows you the lines and circles. It seems like some sort of number for a coordinate or something. I do think it's just related to that, so we'll see. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.